haven't actually done a little mini tour of her yet but Tommy already started painting the cupboard boards yesterday when I was at work yeah now, we're going from like a grey greyish it was a nice grey it's like a grey blue colour but we like white and mm. all the natural sort of like fresh looking peachy vibes right yeah so I painted them white yeah so I'm gonna show you how they look before because we still have some more to paint uh, and now it's Saturday and I have work from 12 to 4 but we want to make the most of the morning in Susie which we named her so we're gonna go catch the sunset sunrise somewhere I've got my iced coffee with me here we'll show you your the transformation we we make in her it's not gonna be anything major but yeah we're gonna vamp it up a little bit hey vamp it up uh -huh. we, have, uh -huh. we have the boards in the back Tommy found that basket at work someone's gonna throw it out anyway so he took it like 6 40 o'clock and we made it just in the soap we've lived here so long and i still don't know how to spell perigian i do go on p-e-r-i-g-e-i-e-n Surf. It was pretty flat, um, but now I really want to wash my hair. This company called Wash Block that's Australian owned, and there's no waste of plastic, there's only like natural ingredients in them. They kindly gifted me these, so I'm gonna use them to wash my hair. So I have a shampoo and a conditioner. So yeah, it's great because it's 100% biodegradable, natural ingredients, Australian made, and it lasts three times longer than a normal shampoo bottle that you would buy. And they're also reef safe as well, so if you do need to wash your hair in the ocean, like if you're living out of a van or you're just traveling, they take up really little space. Yeah, you can just hop in the ocean or in a lake and it won't damage the fishies in the ocean or the reef. <laughs> So the shampoo actually lathered up really easily and it was really easy to use. You just wet it and then put some in your hair. You do not need to use as much as I did. I think I used a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, super easy to use and the conditioner as well. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be bringing that on my road trip that Tommy and I do next. Perfect for traveling. Thank you to Wash Block. Follow their Instagram as well. You can't. We just ordered some breakfast from this cafe called Fake Poetry Cafe and I got the poetry sandwich which sounded it. awesome. What? I can't drink it. No, you're going to have to cut a hole in your face mask. It's Oatly. It's Oatly? Oh, yes, we got the brekkie with the view. We're at Perigian Beach right now and the sun is out. 
Oh, now you're cleaning up your mouth. It's messy. That's the best that your mouth has looked this entire really? time. <laughs> um, I think it's safe to say that we liked the, uh, well, I can't remember what the cafe was called. Poetry something, but it, oh my God, it's so good. It's got avocado, hummus, salad, mushroom, olives, tomatoes. Just went to a discount shop and we got a little lay. It reminds me of the one we had in the rental camper. And we also got like a little, quite a big dream catcher with a tree of life. Now we're going to Kmart, see what else we can find. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go bargain hunting. We have got some goods for the van. <laughs> you see the colour scheme we're going for? <laughs> now we're going to get some colourful things too, yeah. not just white. Okay. We did a little setup. Look how cute! It's like nowhere near finished, but yeah, we got a little like wooden table. I'll show you it later, like a foldy up one. And now we need to head to work. Yeah, I just wish I could spend all day in the van, but I can't. First night in the van, and we're setting the fairy lights up. Well, Tommy's setting the fairy lights up. Thanks for the shout out for the lights. Yeah, eventually we're gonna change these curtains and everything. And these are the pillows we got from K Hub. Very, very cozy. I love our little dream catcher. Got the laptop, so we're just gonna lie in here. We're literally just parked outside the apartment. But I wanted to sleep in the van literally the night since we got it, so we're finally gonna sleep in here. We're at Boiling Pot. We came for the sunrise. Boiling we bought pot. Boiling Pot. I made some oats with shea seeds, hope it's nice. That's what we need. What do we need? One of those baskets. Oh yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Tommy's gonna go for a little surf. It's still pretty cold out, but I think I'm gonna go for a little sunbathe. Tommy started a paint job, so he's painting these. We used to be grey, as you can see, he's painted them white. He's just done yeah, this one is layer. Not how final it is, this is just the starting like tester. Yeah. But this is what it used to be. It's before versus midway through. <laughs> still not done. But you yeah. can see why we wanted to change the colour there, it's like kind of grey, yeah. needs a touch up. He's taken all of these out and he's started painting. So we'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all finished and painted. And we're going to get a rack for the surfboard so we don't have to keep them in here. A few moments later. While I've been at work, Tommy's been working away, painting all day. It looks really good. He's taken the whole all the drawers apart and stuff and now we've got a really nice white colour yeah i wonder how long you'll stay white now you're screwing it looks really good very good job baby thank you darling yo what's yo, up guys what's it's up because we're in the van the we're, watch the first we're watching the sunset again we've been obsessed with like as soon as we get a tiny bit of time off together we just take it and go somewhere so now feet our beautiful deep dream catcher we're deep what dream catcher feet our beautiful dream catcher we're watching the sunset at doggy beach it's really it's hard doggy beach. well what is it then it's kind of doggy it's beach. a spit it's a spit near Doggy Beach and it's always so hard to find a parking spot right here um, but we found one and the sun's about to go down and Tommy's I drinking so beer because it's golden hour <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Bunnings and Big W we think what are we getting at Bunnings again? Um, lacquer yeah we're getting something lacquer to put on the white drawers that Tommy's been painting
Hey guys, so I just got back from work and Tommy and I are working on painting the van. We're painting all the interior white still and we just got this like lacquer. I'll show you it. It's to put on top of the surfaces like if you spill coffee you can like wipe it off um, and it kind of like protects the paint. So that's what we're doing now and I'm going to continue painting because it needs a lot of coats of white. So I'm going to continue. The last coat of white I just got my work top on inside out <laughs> and some of these from cotton on so i'm gonna go out and we're gonna do a little time lapse of us painting the van and we bought some new fairy lights um for it yesterday so we're gonna set those up as well windy. it's windy oh look at him go And you have to walk. Tommy's running. He's not got no shoes. You have to walk to the top. Uh, and it looks so pink and nice there. And the moon's out. Oh my God, look. Wow. So it's called what? Mount Timbirwa? Mount Timbirwa. We're at Mount Timbirwa. Wow, I just sunset. Googled sunset spots and this came up. We almost couldn't find it. Yeah, because it took us to a place where you needed like a four by four. We were in the wrong spot. <laughs> but this looks so sick. We just yeah. added the fairy lights and it looks so cool. This now is we're... after we climbed up Mount... Is it Mount Timbirwa? Mount yeah, it must Timbirwa. Be for the sunset. It was so, so nice. And we just couldn't wait to put our fairy lights up that we bought yesterday. So we're literally still in the car park of Mount Timbirwa. And yeah, the sun has gone down to do it in the car park. a while ago. Because we were that eager. But we're going to set up the bed a little bit. So I'll show you how it looks when it's a little bit nicer later. The next morning. The coffee is cooking. <laughs> so hey guys, so today I'm going to bring you along a very special day. I am going to get to visit Pottery for the Planets warehouse, which they have here in Noosa, which I had no idea. I contacted them because I really want to get some cute like travel bowls and travel cups for the van and I was just looking if they would like to collaborate and they said yes, so that is super amazing. And yeah, they invited me over to meet the team because it is in Nooseville, sorry my coffee. <laughs> so that's where I'm going today because today is my day off, it's a Thursday and it's currently nine o'clock. Um, so I spent the morning, I've been editing a video that I have to publish for lounge underwear and now I'm making my coffee and I'm probably gonna head over there in an hour or so. My neighbor definitely just saw me vlogging, it's super embarrassing. We're gonna get ready, because this is what we have to deal with. I don't know why my hair is so straight. Also, Tommy like bought some bleach for his hair 
to make because he's a Gemini, so he does everything. He changes his hair and his beard all the time. But I decided to bleach two strands. You know that new trend when you have like two oh, really light no. trends, like just light strands in the front. I decided to bleach these two, and obviously the bottom is fine, but the top looks all yellow. So I didn't want to have it in too long. Um, so I tried to put like purple shampoo in it and stuff, but it's like it's still yellow. So don't bleach your hair at home. It'll be fine though. You can't really tell like when it's like this. I mean, I hope you can't tell. It's coffee, 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 coffee. So I've edited a rough draft of my video, which I'm gonna be happy with. And now I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna check out the photos we got yesterday from the sunset when we're at Mount Timbewa. That mountain was just amazing and that lookout, I can't believe we haven't heard of it before. 100% recommend going there, it was so so beautiful and the drive up wasn't too long, it's just outside of Tawantin. The walk was like super short to get up to the top. I'm gonna do my makeup now. Sorry about the mess. So I'm just gonna sit here and take my time and do my makeup. I'm listening to Growing Up and Sometimes Down by Evie and Liv. Uh, I really actually like their podcast. I've only just started listening to it. I've been listening to a few episodes before, but I've just listened to like two in a row now and I really love them. So I'm just gonna do my makeup quite like natural, easy. I don't normally do my makeup, but just cause today I'm going to meet the people from Pottery Planet. I thought it would be fun to look a little bit nicer. And I always wear this perfume if you're wondering. This is like my go-to at the moment. I really miss my perfumes back home and I'm wishing I bought them with me. So I might buy an actual like a bit more expensive perfume when this one runs out. Cause this is my second one. It's the Zara Oriental Perfumes. So yeah, that's a tip. Sara actually does really nice smelling, pretty cheap perfumes, uh, which you probably already know. I really love this podcast. It's so like positive, inspiring, and like they talk a lot about self-love, which is so so good. So if you guys if you guys need more positivity or like a confidence boost or like self-love, just listen to their podcast. It's super nice. I really love it. I'm using cloud paint. This thing has been with me for so long. <laughs> Hey guys, I just got done visiting their um, warehouse where they stock and package everything and yeah, they're, they're such a cool brand, like they're focusing on sustainability and saving the planet and like reducing the plastic use. They use solar panels to power how they make these, which is just so, so great. I'm really really happy to be working with such a great company and also so local like I got to pick out basically anything I wanted and everything there was just absolutely gorgeous so hard to pick but Tommy and I are trying to go for this like warm toned color and like bright color scheme for the van so it's just this reusable cup and then I picked a big bowl and a small bowl so a Tommy bowl and a Becca bowl <laughs> so that was so generous of them I'm kind of kind of wanting to go get some coffee to try it out right now. I'm in general pants. So cute, but I'm too short. Why is that always my life? I like these. I'm a sports girl now. We're at the juice bar and we got juices. Tommy got a turmeric one. It's super orange, check that out. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's turmeric. It's good though. And I got the greens blend. Apple, pineapple. Yeah, that's good. Mmm, love pineapple. We've got mattress topper. We've got a fitted sheet for the bottom of the bed. I hope this fits. <laughs> and we got two pillows to go with it. And we went for this like beige, stony coloured under sheet. And then we got our little blanket there. We've got sex wax because they smell amazing. They smell like coconut. It smells lovely. Not that it smelled bad. It just smelled like varnish. Yeah. Speaking of which, we got more varnishing to do now. Yeah, we're gonna head home now. Hopefully have some time before I start work at four to paint some more of the van and take apart the bed that we just set up. So I got two of the Sandy Ochre mugs and I got them from like the ones that are a little bit imperfect, like imperfect so that they're a little bit more unique. So I just got two of these and a bigger bowl and a smaller bowl. So I'm really excited to try these out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna paint you in oil. Oh no. And we're gonna go to the beach right now. I'm wearing my new trousers I just put on. And they're 100% made out of linen, uh, which is good because it keeps you cool even in the summer. And then we set up camp just for a little while. Here we're at Parisian Beach. We're gonna take the boards for a surf maybe. 